Nick Kelly said something to us earlier that was pretty interesting. No, no matter what, who you are, every freshman at one point wants to quit football, wants to quit, uh, and and it, some some do, but some some find a way to the strength through it, and you you realize okay, it's not as bad as you think. It's just all in your mind. Did you have any feelings like that? Definitely did. August third, the third day of camp. Never forget it. Eleven thirty, right after practice, sitting in my sitting in my locker. I questioned myself, like, do I really want to play football? Like, is D1 football really what I want to do? Came upstairs, told Marcus, like, I need to go home. They're like, no, nah, you're not. You're just going through a little something right now. But other than that, after that day, the next day of camp, I ended up balling the next day of camp. So I'm like, oh, it's, it's easy. I just need to play football. Were there any guys uh, through that transition that, that helped you get kind of over that mental hump? DJ, DJ Foster. That's my mentor while he's here, you know. And he was just telling me I need to maintain my, maintain my focus and always be confident, you know, always be confident in myself. And that's what I did. After that, I just took off. After, uh, after he told me that, me and DJ I started to become the one-two punch in the backfield. What aspect are you trying to bring in terms of, of your style of leadership? I'm not really a vocal leader. I just go out and do it. Any, any one of my coaches could tell you that, you know, you just go out and do it. You know, and I have a passion for the game, so. I try to bring with my passion and my confidence and my level of maturity and me knowing me knowing the game a lot more than, more than any 18-year-old who just turned 18 would know. I'm just being here, you know, just being here to help. That's how I, that's what my leadership role is, just help anybody who needs help.